Hi everyone, it's the Ecom Dad here again, and today I'm quickly going to take you through the, the number one strategy you need to be successful with dropshipping, why it takes everybody so long or why they never end up succeeding, and how I genuinely believe anybody can be profitable within one month if they follow the right strategy and they actually do the work. But I do genuinely believe that, because when you know what you're doing, it's, it's not that hard. So let's quickly take you through why success takes so long. So the number one issue I think is listening to fake gurus. There are so many people on YouTube that I've listened to and seen and just almost everything they say is complete bullshit and you can just tell they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. The problem with fake gurus is that <clears throat> most people are generally trustworthy because they're honest. Most people are honest and so you kind of you project that and you assume that most other people in the world are being honest. When you've got a little bit of life, life experience, you realize that there are a lot of people out there in the world who just, they're almost evil, man. They will lie straight to your face about anything, people that you thought you were close to. They'll lie to your face, they'll take advantage of you. They'll do anything to like get one up over on you. And YouTube is a breed, YouTube gurus is a breeding ground for this type of person. So you really have to be careful. So like Kevin Zhang, for example, if you don't know who he is, he was a big YouTuber. He's been, it's been proven beyond shadow of a doubt that everything he talks about is completely fake and he had loads of loyal followers. Kevin David is another one. He, I think he mostly does Amazon stuff, but God damn, he scammed a lot of people out of millions of pounds and he has no idea what he's doing. King Kong, rest in peace. I've got nothing against him. I know he passed away, but still the same. It's been proven that he was scamming people. So YouTube is seriously full of this type of stuff. Be careful who you listen to. And you should be skeptical of me as well. You have no idea who I am. So take what I say with a pinch of salt. Uh, this is a big one. <laughs> Don't take business advice from 20 year olds. Don't take life advice from 20 year olds. I'm 24, you should be a bit skeptical about taking advice from me. I've been doing e-com for about two years. But there's still, man, there's so, there's people you should listen to over me. Someone, for example, Ricky Hayes, he's 28, he's been doing e-com for a long time. He really knows what he's talking about, more so than me. And then there's other people like Mike and Yulia, who's a couple, they have a channel. They're in their late 20s, maybe they're about 30. The guy's got a PhD. Like, these are the type, if you want to be successful, don't listen to, to, to 20 year olds. Listen to, like, established people that know what they're talking about. Do not take life advice from a 20 year old. I promise you, they don't know anything about anything. Yeah. That's it. And also, yeah, <clears throat> subscribe to CoffeeZilla on YouTube or at least watch some of his videos because you, you truly understand how much sketchy stuff is out there. And there really are people just, all they want to do is take, take every last penny you've had. You have, and they really don't care about you at all. So, yeah, be careful of fake gurus, subscribe to Coffee Zilla, don't listen to anyone who's young. Anyone who's younger than, yeah, even 24 year olds would be a bit skeptical, and I'm 24. Uh, another wrong, wrong thing they do is focus on little things that aren't going to make any difference. So <clears throat> you launch a product, you test it, it's not profitable, what's the problem? Oh, maybe I don't have a countdown timer. Oh, maybe I don't have... Maybe my reviews aren't good enough on my store. Maybe my back, my post-purchase upsell isn't working right. Forget all that stuff. You need to just, you need to test products as quickly as you can. And that's how you find success. Forget about all these little things. Don't even have reviews on your site. I've tested having them and not having them. They barely make a shred of difference. Don't have a countdown timer. It doesn't matter that much. Completely forget about your back end. Don't even bother with email marketing until you learn how to be at least a little bit profitable on the front end. None of these things will make you successful <clears throat> to start with. Forget about them all. There's only one thing you need to be doing at the start and that's testing products. Okay. And another part is focusing too much on Facebook ad strategy. This ad, it adds nothing to your funnel. So how is it gonna, it's not gonna make your ad better. Look, I'm making, it's not gonna make your ad creative better. It's not gonna make your landing page better. <clears throat> it's not going to make your product better. So who cares? It's pointless. Who cares? It's irrelevant. Anyone, any YouTuber with long videos and all they talk about is Facebook ads, they, they're they honestly clueless because when you actually 
do start making money from ecom, you 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 learn firsthand how pointless it all is. These days, my, my best ad sets have zero interest targeting, and they do even better than some of my lookalikes. So, and anyone that's actually doing ecom will know this. So yeah, Facebook ad strategy is pointless. So these three main things are holding you back. <clears throat> Even like when I started, I was listening to Gabriel St. Germain, which I regret now because, like I said, that broke my fundamental rule. I think the guy was 20. I shouldn't have been listening to him because I took his advice to start a one-product store, which is awful advice. If you're new, don't have a one-product store because you're not going to make it work. The first product you test isn't going to work, and you need to test products. You need to test lots of products because you don't know what's going to work. And uh, his other advice was start with Instagram influencers if you're new. That's way more complicated than Facebook ads because there's a lot of scams going on in Instagram. So yeah, I didn't. Looking back, I know don't take advice from twenty year olds. Be careful of gurus. It took me like four months to get my first sale because I was following the wrong advice. And uh, if I knew then what I knew now, if I'd followed this rule, it wouldn't have taken me that long. I would have listened to someone like Ricky Hayes from the start. And it wouldn't have taken me that long to get so. So yeah, the, this forget about little things. Forget about them. You want to test products as fast as you can. Forget about Facebook ad strategy. It does nothing. Yeah, don't worry about the little things. Don't worry about your back end. Test the product every day until you find a winner. Make this process fast and efficient by testing with image ads. <clears throat> and my previous video, I talked about how to find potential winning products that you can scale with just an image ad. So if you haven't watched that, quickly give it a watch. And yeah, today I'm going to quick. I'm going to take you through how simple and easy it is to actually set up a product. You can. It takes about an hour. You can do it. An hour a day is nothing. And then within a month, you'll definitely find at least one winner. So let's begin. So in my last video, when I was showing you how to find potential winning products, we quickly glossed over this, which is what I'm going to test now, because. The price is good. I, I think I could sell that for 25, 30 pound. And this cost me, let's say, just say it costs 10 pound. That's a decent enough margin. Decent enough, not great. And the image is quite, the image grabs my eye. So I think it could work. So yeah, step by step, everything you need to do to test the product. I'm gonna prove with steps that it's really easy and that you can easily do it once a day if you're efficient and you don't bother with videos it takes too long to edit them just use images so yeah you grab the url grab the url if you're not using obolo get it if you don't know what obolo is you need to find someone else i'm not going to teach that basic stuff uh yeah import it to your store okay so let's quickly take you through how to make the product page uh the title doesn't really matter at all like look at the image what's a good title for that Okay, so I've thought about it for a bit. The bedside garden night light. Sure. But the name doesn't the name doesn't really matter that much. The product copy doesn't really matter that much. The most important thing is the image, which we already have. Let's just put everything at 30 quid. As a starting point. Disable that. And then uh, the question you just want to ask yourself is when you're writing ad copy, you're selling with the image ad for this product, you don't need to write that much ad copy. And that's the beautiful, this is the beautiful thing about using products like this and an image ad. The ad copy doesn't really matter, so you don't have to think about it that much. The product title doesn't matter. You're selling basically just on the image, which you already have. So it's, it's easy, man. There's not much work. So let's see okay so i finished making the product page and as you can see it literally took me it took me less than 10 minutes this is it bring nature to your bedside a really nice photo which i got straight from aliexpress totally unique soothing for children fully customizable arrange it your way so you can arrange this stuff as you see fit uh, 18 remote functions there's a picture of a remote on AliExpress that had 18 buttons on it. So I just put that. That's literally it. 
that's all you need to do as I said this doesn't need any explanation you look at the image and you know what it is I've tested loads of different ad copies of products like this and it really doesn't make much difference what you put in it I would put not much effort into the first attempt if it gets a high click-through rate on Facebook and you get a couple sales then I would come back and put more attention into it but for a first time trial you don't need to go all in don't waste your time writing really good perfect copy for a first time try I'll do a video about writing copy another time but for now this is this is literally all you need for an image ad if this was like a posture corrector this wouldn't be good enough but for this no matter what you write you're not going to increase the conversion rate that much with a product like this trust me I've tested a lot of different copies so this is fine now on to Facebook so I have a separate store to my main store where I sell a lot of night light tea type stuff from AliExpress and uh, this is it it's not this isn't my main store as you can see it hasn't done that many sales but I've spent close to 10 grand to get back 26 grand in sales it's been pretty profitable it's made me a bit a bit of money let's say this is 25% profit margins it's maybe about five six grand which is okay I'm expecting it to be a lot better over Christmas but uh, yeah so I'm testing this on my separate this isn't my main store but everything on here has literally just been image ads from Aliexpress so this obviously works now going back to what I said earlier about Facebook ad strategy what you do really obviously do a purchase conversion your interests don't really matter your budget doesn't really matter I, I do 50 pound a day depending on your budget you could do 20 pound a day and work out whether it's a winner so bedside garden interests sure I want to take you through that really none of this stuff none of this stuff matters at all so I know there's a nightlight interest because I use it all the time for this store so we'll just test that uh, a lot of people say do five dollar ad sets when you've made so many Facebook ad sets you get bored of it so I just do instead of doing ten five dollars I would just do five ten dollars or even like three fifteen dollars because when you've made so many of these you get sick of it so yeah just do five ten dollar ad sets you want to start it at midnight the day up the next day bang 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 this is going to be really quick I'm going to do this as quick as I can United Kingdom right now my agent can get fast shipping to United Kingdom United States and Australia I would also usually target Ireland and Canada but I've got slow shipping there at the moment which is causing me some problems so I'm not gonna bother but people often say do big four everyone forgets about Ireland you get such cheap CPMs in Ireland and people buy stuff in Ireland just as much as the United States so always include Ireland I would say like, like, and again don't put much thought into your interests it doesn't matter none of this other stuff matters much forget automatic placements yet yeah, really doesn't matter conversions yet yeah. new ad we're gonna to want to download these images so grab them all there I'll probably if you can fit in more than one image better okay so we made the interest once we get to the ad part just call each ad just number one number them so that you can filter by them later on so that was just one of my VAs uh, yeah just number each ad differently so that you can filter by them and add and see which one works the best then all you want to do is I mean you guys know how to do this stuff I'm sure okay so we're at this point where we've uploaded the image to Facebook now we just need to write the primary text uh, again your copy here doesn't really matter that much at all just write anything as long as it sounds okay so okay so I've finished the ad now let our stunning night light bring the peaceful quiet of nature straight to your bedroom helps children sleep whilst looking fab and then this image 
I do think this will get some clicks. You don't need to do anything other than that. I put the title, just the title of the product, and I just put helps children sleep here. Don't think about it too much. There really is no possible combination of words you can put here that will dramatically improve the performance of the ad. 90% of it is in the image which you've already got. So that's fine. Then all you need to do is duplicate this. We've got three images. Keep everything the same, just change the image. So I'll do this quick. Okay, so now you've got three ads for three different images. All the copies are exactly the same. Now you're just ready to duplicate. This is on a £10 budget. We want it to be on a £50 total budget for the day. So we'll duplicate this ad set four times and just choose a different interest each time. Don't think too much about the interest, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick them pretty randomly. And uh, it's interesting, most of the gurus, when they take you through this type of thing, they're doing it with an example. I'm literally testing this product, so I'm not going to turn these off. So, and I'll release the results in a few days, maybe, just as a quick recap to see how it goes. But yeah, this is just to show you, this is literally what I do. Uh, so I think this is mostly want to be targeted at kids, but it is a flower, so we'll try flower as an interest. But again, it really doesn't matter what you put here. Like seriously. Flower, there we go. The size of the interest doesn't matter either. At all. Big ones work, small ones work. It really doesn't matter. And this is why I'm, this is part of what I was talking about earlier. Focusing too much on Facebook ad strategy. It's not going to improve any part of your funnel so don't think about it that much uh what else could we target with something like this probably kids so there you go another sale child will put child care oh i always like to do private school because if you got a bit of money if you're sending your kid to private you're probably slightly more likely to waste your money on crap or maybe the opposite, actually. Who knows? Poor people are stupid with their money as well. So yeah, you just go through different interests. For some reason, I found Peppa Pig has always worked quite well for me. If an adult's interested in Peppa Pig, they're obviously going to have kids. Young kids. And the young kids might be interested in this. And I personally, I have a young kid and I do love Peppa Pig. So, Peppa Pig. Yeah, size of the interest doesn't matter. Just keep them vaguely related to what you're selling. Facebook's really good at finding buyers anyway. But just to show you, I'm going to do this last interest is blank. So yeah, just to recap quickly what you need in the ad set. Name it whatever you want. I just do the interest because it's easy. Pixel, always do a purchase conversion. Always, always, always. Dynamic creative, just leave that off for now. You're a beginner. Daily budget, I do five £10 ad sets. If you want to do less, you could half that. Do five five pound ad sets or five five dollar ad sets. It will give you enough information in a day to tell you whether it's worth carrying on. And I, when I analyze the results of this we can go through it start date 1 a.m the next day midnight whatever uh yeah whatever countries you want to set in you could do the world and just make sure english language is ticked you could do just the united states that's fine it really doesn't matter um yeah i always just leave i always leave all this stuff open it really doesn't matter uh Put the interest you're targeting there. All languages, sure. Automatic placements, yep. I mean, that's it. You really. Facebook does all the work now. And I'm going to prove it with this empty interest when we look at the results. And uh, yeah, most Googles will just take you through like a fake store with fake ads. Just show you how to do it. I'm, lit I'm literally testing. I'm not going to turn this stuff off. This is literally going to go live at one in the morning. So we can have a look to see how it does. Do I think it's going to be profitable? No. 
because most products aren't profitable and it typically takes more work than this. Maybe you'll go through five to 10 before you find one that's got a bit of potential. But yeah, I mean, this is real. You could copy exactly what I've done word for word. And if this ends up being profitable, if, no matter how, even if it's super profitable, I'm gonna show the results with my next video. So yeah, I've literally shown you today this took me like this took me an hour, maybe a bit less, and I was recording. It would have been even quicker if I wasn't. This is all you need to do to find success. Just keep do, just do this every day. Within a month, you'll have a profitable product, especially going towards Christmas. Don't worry too much about your copy. Just focus on the image. That would be my best advice. Test the product every day until you find a winner. Make the process fast and efficient by testing with image ads like I've just shown you. So yeah, that's everything. It's all set up. Looking forward to the results when I wake up tomorrow. Maybe on Monday I'll go through all and show you guys. And you can if it makes me a few sales, you can absolutely steal everything I've done and do it yourself. Because it's easy. That's everything. Cheers. And if you did like the video, like it. If you didn't like this video, don't like it. You don't have to. That's fine. Alright, cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.